Hey guys, it's Becky. Um, I am going to take a minute to go over a dialectical behavior therapy skill with you. I had a friend reach out to me and ask if I had any skills on my channel and I unfortunately had to tell her no. Um, so I'm going to do a skill for you guys right now. Um, basically, I'm just gonna say this right now, and I will say this and put this in every description of my video. I'm not a professional. Um, I am just a woman who has mental illness, and, um, DBT has really helped me. I was in a DBT program for, I want to say close to, like, 18 months. Very intense program, very difficult, very overwhelming but it changed me. Um, I, here right now, talking to you, am not the same person I was when I entered that program. Um, and DBT is a humongous part of why. So, I want to be a therapist. I want to teach DBT in the future. But like I said, I'm not a professional. Um, I'm just going to do this skill just explain it to you the best I can in the way that I know how to um, but my videos and this video do not substitute professional help so please understand that okay um, but yeah I want to change that I want to change that I don't have skills on my channel because this is a mental health ch uh, channel and yes it's primarily my experience but I do want to put videos on this channel that help other people. Um, so I, I want to start putting skills on this channel, but always, I'm not a professional, okay? Um, and I don't mean to inf insult or offend anyone with anything I do or say. So I'm going to get into the skill now, okay? Um, and I'm going to try really hard not to make this video long because I want this to be a video you can watch when you really need this skill. Um, so, the skill I'm doing today is called Stop. Um, you may have actually heard this skill or seen it places. I know right now at the hospital I work at, they have it on like their sa screensaver page. And I was like, I know that skill. <laughs> it's from DBT. <laughs> um, so you may know it. Um, but it's basically um, a mnemonic that means... Um, stop like halt okay nothing don't say or do anything um the t stands for take a step back whether that's mentally or if you have to do it physically to make yourself feel like you are taking a step back from the situation um o is for observe so basically taking in your your emotions what you're feeling thinking understanding what that is um and under observing what's happening in the situation and then p stands for proceed mindfully so with your awareness on the present moment not thinking about things from the past or thinking about oh my god how is the future going to play out um and i'm gonna share an experience with you one of the scenarios I used this skill in um and this was the first time I did it like really fully did it um without needing to look at a book or look it up in advance so basically I had gotten into a fight with someone really nasty fight we were screaming at each other and I basically said Give me a minute. So that was my stop. I said, give me a minute. And I didn't say or do anything after that. I closed my eyes and I imagined in my head what the situation looked like. So I observed, like I thought about the room that we were in. Um, and I, I did physically take a step back because at that point in time, I really needed to physically do it to feel like I was. So I took a step back, um, and I said, 
I'm only going to say the facts right now because I observed that I was really, really, really upset and that this person was really upset as well. We were both really angry and saying you're doing something in anger would have just made the situation a lot worse. So I basically just said, I'm going to tell you how I feel. Um, no, not how I feel. I said, I'm going to say the facts. No emotion, no judgment, nothing. Just the situation right now. So I said, this is how I feel. And that's a fact, okay? Um, I like to say I feel instead of I think. Because I feel is automatically, I feel this way. That does not mean that this scientifically proven that this is how it is. When someone says, I think, it, I feel like it gives, um, I'm trying to think of the right words. Feel to me is like, well, I feel that way. Doesn't mean you do. Doesn't mean anyone else does. That's how I feel. Um, doesn't mean it's a fact that I, you know, it doesn't mean that whatever I'm feeling is associated with reality. Um, so personally, like, when I say I, this is how I feel, that's a fact. I do feel that way. Um, so I said, I feel this. You are angry. I can see that. Just based on your body language and how we were yelling at each other, that's a fact. And I said... Like, I'm afraid of this. Because I don't even remember what, what we'd gotten into a fight over. But we had gotten into a fight about the future. And something I needed to do. And I said, I am afraid of this. And that's how I feel. That's a fact. That I feel that way. Um, and I said, and I feel like I can't talk to you about this. Because this is what happens. And... That's a fact. I did not feel like I could talk to this person. Um, and what I did was I, I said that after I observed what happened. Um, I took ice water and I, like, I took a bottle of water, filled it with ice water, started dabbing it on my forehead and on my face. And I started to drink it as well because that helped to ground me in reality and not think about the emotions of, oh my god, this person and I are going to get in a physical fight. We're going to hit each other. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. He's never going to talk to me again. Like, um, all of the horrendous shit that goes through my head when something like that happens. Um, so I got that, you know, out there in the open and then I proceeded mindfully. So I basically paid attention to his body language, my body language, um, when things, if I felt like things were getting a little more heated, can we take a minute? You know, just paying attention and not worrying about the future or anything that just happened. Um, because when you do that, you get nervous and it makes it worse. So I love that skill. It's very hard to do, um, especially when you're first starting out trying it. Um, but I can tell you it does help. Um, it may not seem like a lot, but just taking a minute to compose yourself and especially the stop, like the, 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 the S stop. Imagine like a big fat red stop sign. You have to just stop, freeze. It's like someone says freeze to you, freeze. Legit. Don't move. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Just freeze. And then you take the step back, whether you do it physically to help you understand that that's what you're doing or whether you know how to do it mentally. Just like step out of your body is the way I describe it. Like, and in a way, at least for me, that's dissociation. Like, disassociating myself from the situation giving myself a moment to calm down 
Um, so I physically picture the room and what's happening in the room. And I step out of my body almost in this imaginary picture. And I observe myself, my body. And I say, okay, well, I feel really scared. I feel angry. Uh, I feel unheard. I, f I have goosebumps. I have this prickly hot sweat all over my body. Uh, my heart rate is fast. Observing all of that and then observing the person or the people you're having a problem with. Um, that's, it's really helpful, um, to help you understand what's going on with you, um, and it helps you stop the situation from getting any worse. So, and that can happen even if you're like on a phone call and you get into it with someone, or if you're just having a hard day, you can sit there and be like, okay, all right, I need to stop and do that skill. And it's like a meditation almost. And you can find this online. You just terp, um, type in stop skill, DBT, in Google and you'll find it. Um, but I hope that this helps some of you. And I hope to do more skills really soon. Um, so just look this up. There are other DBT skills that are really helpful. But this one is a very good one to start with. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye.